Hello everyone, my name is Yevgeyan Kuznetsov, and I am presenting the first work exploring unsupervised online domain adaptation for semantic segmentation. In recent years, there has been significant progress in overcoming the negative effects of domain shift in semantic segmentation. Yet, existing unsupervised domain adaptation, or UDA, methods rely on curated target domain data to train the model for multiple epochs. Such offline setting introduces multiple restrictions. First, the need to acquire target domain data in advance. Second, model retraining is needed to benefit from new data available in target domain. Third, no adjustment to dynamically changing domain properties, such as weather conditions, under closed world assumption. These limitations make offline UDA impractical for many real world applications desiring online capabilities. That is why we propose to adapt the model to new domain on the fly. Online UDA setting assumes that in order to adapt and produce predictions for a frame of a target domain video or stream, only source domain data or previous frames can be accessed. We chose to employ self-supervised structure from motion as a proxy task for our domain adaptation framework. First, we pre-train the model in source domain, with depth and semantics networks sharing an encoder. Then, for each frame of the target domain video recorded by a moving camera, Starting from the third, the model is adapted as follows. First, a frame triplet or sample is constituted by the current and two preceding frames. Then, this sample is stored in replay buffer, which is empty in the beginning of adaptation. After this, several past samples are drawn, for instance, randomly, from replay buffer to form a batch of image triplets together with the current sample. This batch is further used for model optimization. Utilizing past experience in such a way is known as experience replay. By making supervisory data distributed in a more IID-like way, it stabilizes adaptation. It also prevents overfitting and catastrophic forgetting. After the triplet batch is constituted, the model infers depth, semantics, and ego motion with respect to the central frames of the batch. When the inference is finished, image reconstruction loss is computed to optimize the shared depth semantics representation. This mechanism is widely used for learning monocular depth in self-supervised way. First, the synthetic views of the central frame are generated by warping its neighbors into it. The warping, or reprojection through 3D space, is performed using the respective depth and ego motion estimates. Then, the loss can be computed as the difference between real and synthesized images. In addition to geometric guidance, we regularize the predicted semantics in order to prevent learning more geometrically but less semantically correct representations. For this, we first estimate the confidence region based on the predicted class probabilities for each pixel. This, for instance, can be done by using class adaptive probability threshold. Then, confidence regularization loss is computed as the average entropy of pixels in the estimated confidence region. Finally, if the camera is not static, model parameters are optimized by minimizing the computed losses. This condition is essential for geometry guidance to yield meaningful supervision. The described procedure is then repeated for the next video frame. This slide shows the adaptation results when transferring from virtual kitty to real kitty. We make the following observations about the performance of our method. Online adaptation significantly increases mean intersection over union compared to the non-adapted model, and all components of our method contribute to performance gain. Increasing the number of past samples drawn from replay buffer also improves performance, and drawing these samples randomly is more beneficial than using several consequent preceding triplets. Our method benefits most from adapting to videos with more than 100 frames. We also show that our method generalizes to different scenarios. In particular, it performs well not only in simulated to real setup, when adapting to kitty or cityscapes, but also greatly reduces the artifacts caused by deploying the model trained using sunny data in foggy or rainy weather. To conclude, despite achieving reasonably good results, this work is only the first step towards unsupervised online domain adaptation for semantic segmentation, and there are numerous possible directions to explore, such as handling moving, small or infrequent objects, exploring various experience replay strategies, generalizing to other tasks, such as panoptic segmentation or 3D bounding box generation. Thanks for watching.